Have you ever wondered why the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans don't mix? It's a unique and mesmerizing phenomenon that has puzzled many. Despite both oceans being composed of the same H2O, their waters refuse to blend. Imagine standing at the southernmost tip of South America, known as Cape Horn, where the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet. Here, you would witness a spectacle, a clear line of demarcation between the dark waters of the Pacific and the lighter waters of the Atlantic that stretches for up to 800 kilometers. This boundary, known as the Drake Passage, is a testament to the fact that these two vast bodies of water do not mix. But why does this happen? The first reason lies in the density of the water. While the density difference between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans is not significant enough to cause one to sink beneath the other, it is sufficient to prevent them from mixing. The second reason is a force known as inertia, specifically the Coriolis force. This force influences the movement of objects and is a result of Earth's rotation. As the Earth spins, moving objects on its surface deviate from their course. This deviation is clockwise in the Northern Hemisphere and anti-clockwise in the Southern Hemisphere. Consequently, the waters of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans flow in different directions, which prevents them from mixing. Another factor preventing the mixing of these oceans is the strength of molecular connections or surface tensile strength. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans have different surface tensile strengths, which further inhibits their ability to blend. So in summary, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans don't mix due to differences in density, the effects of the Coriolis force and variations in surface tensile strength. These factors create a clear border between these two oceans, making for a fascinating spectacle and a testament to the wonders of nature.